The Herald Standard presents the game of the week tonight. It's the second week of the playoffs, and the West Green Pioneers are taking on the Vikings of Stow Rocks on a neutral field at Trinity in Washington. West Green carries the hopes of every underdog team who hope to make it this far. But the Vikings are the favorite and stiff competition for the Pioneers. The run, the pass, and the touchdown. West Green couldn't get away from their own end zone. It looks like it could be a runaway disaster. But the Vikings are prone to penalties. And on third and 38, the West Green defense holds. And more Viking penalties help move the Pioneers down the field. And pretty soon, it's third and seven. And Ben Jackson has the ball. Now it's fourth down and an inch. But now it's first down. And it's a touchdown by Ben Jackson. After the kick by Kevin Thompson, Wes Green has the lead, seven to six. In the second, the defense stuffs the Vikings to the roar of the crowd. And the offense is on their way to another touchdown until a fumble shuts them down. The defense comes up huge one more time. Corey Wise moves the ball down the field. But on fourth down, the Pioneers turn over the ball in the same area of the field as before. On their next possession, they're moving the ball down the field, but the clock is winding down to halftime, and they better hurry up. Lining up for the field goal, there's a false start, and the Pioneers are now out of field goal range. In the third, the Pioneers fail to score, but the Vikings take the lead with this touchdown run. And nothing good happens in the fourth on this frigid November night. The Vikings extend their lead, and the underdog Pioneers' season comes to an end. But it was a great season and a strong playoff performance for Wes Green. Jonathan Goose here for the Herald Standard Game of the Week with West Green coach Brian Hansen. And, Coach, you know, you guys come in here and they go down the field, boom, boom, boom. I mean, but, you know, you guys made some good adjustments. Unfortunately, you know, they the fourth quarter just um, wasn't you guys' you yeah. know, quarter to be. It was, um, was there anything in particular that happened or just some sloppy plays and, unfortunately, it was at the wrong time? Well, I mean, I think it's a, just a team effort. I mean, we, on offense, we were struggling getting a snap there, you know, putting the ball on the ground. You can't do that in these close games, again, championship-type games. And um, defensively, I mean, to hold them, I mean, this is one of the high-scoring teams out there. And uh, we played pretty darn good defense tonight. I mean, especially, I mean, the red zone, it's, it's just keeping them out of the end zone. I mean, I know we gave them some there at the end. Um, but, uh, you know, it's it just a it combination. I mean, uh, you know. It, it, it's it's uh, a better team won the game tonight, you know. And and with the game being 24-7, I, I just want to, you know, let everybody know that this obviously wasn't indicative of how close the game was. Yeah. Um, and like you said, just, I mean, when it first happened, I mean, you know, um, the quarterback. Uh, Orndoff. Or for their guy. Uh, oh, uh, um, Wilson. Yeah, he. I mean, he comes out and it's like, wow. Yeah. You know, um, was, what did you guys do differently? Because up until – Really, you know, that was the first drive. He was unstoppable, but yeah. except for maybe that one drive where they scored the, uh, I think the second touchdown. Um, you guys did a good job. What was there anything you guys did differently on him? I mean, just we we. We probably stayed more in one coverage instead of switching up a lot. We were bringing, trying to bring a lot of pressure early on, and uh, against our offense, it's it's hard to cover when you get pressure just because they're going to spread you so far out and you know so we laid off some of the pressure stuff let our d-line create some more pressure brock bedillion played a hell of a game um i mean he was making plays in the backfield all night and i mean it's tough because we were doing primarily with a three-man rush for most of the time so uh you know we, we try to make some adjustments in that regard so and, and with uh this offense i mean i, I from my understanding I, I didn't obviously see the game but they said uh g greensburg central had thrown the ball a little bit mm -hmm. and i guess manesson had a little bit of an uh passing tech yeah. but for the most part you haven't faced that type of opposition now i know i'm sure you looked at a lot this week but but was that i would needless to say no offense to the other teams that's probably the most explosive offense you've uh, seen right? well Clar yeah. clariton is oh, uh, yeah. sorry is, yeah, yeah. Clar clariton is a different animal but this is the most 
it's a different offense. It's it's I mean it's a true uh, sp- true spread. I mean yeah. it's an air raid type this Texas Tech Baylor type offense that you see. Um, so I mean it challenges our guys uh, on every down just because it's it's they put they put everybody on an island. You yeah. know, and they're just going to pick their poison. You know, if, if you do this, they know they have that. So, and we did a good job with it most part of the night. I mean, they got some, but I mean, it, it, but I think our guys, you know, for the most part, cut them out of the end zone uh, for the, for a good portion of the night. I mean, I, I know a lot of people thought we were going to get mercy ruled out here tonight, and we didn't think that uh, for sure coming in here. So, yeah. And one thing, um, just getting to uh, and the individual part, yeah. I, I have to mention Ben. I mean, if I could have a lot of Ben Jacksons, uh, <laughs> uh, life would be easy, right? You load your team with a bunch of Ben Jacksons, you win a state championship. Yeah. I mean. I mean, uh, yeah, he's been an awesome player, awesome kid. Um, he's, 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 you know, put, put, put his team on his back countless times. Um, but, you know, that senior class is kind of like that. They're all – they have really strong personalities. The Colin Walkers, the uh, Brock Bedillions, they, they, you know, they bleed blue and gold. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's no surprise, that, you know, for Ben at least. I mean, it, it, being as talented as he is and having that kind of mentality, he's had the success that he's had. So. And, and I know, you know uh, – Obviously, a lot of high expectations this year. Um, didn't reach your goal, but yeah. I'm sure you're still obviously pleased with the season. There's a lot of teams that would love to be right here, right? Sure, sure. I mean, I mean, uh, little old West Green. I mean, yeah. that, that you know, come up and you know, we finish the season ten and two, and uh, you know, within a few points playing at Heinz Field. I mean, it's it's uh, you know, we played well. I mean, I mean, we dominated everybody we played against. You know, outside of uh, Clareton and Stow Rocks. I mean, and and two of those two teams are going to. Uh, compete for a state championship. So, West Green's probably one of the top five teams, top six teams in the state of Pennsylvania in single A. So, you know, it, it's a, uh, um, you know, we don't want a, uh, a charity award or nothing like yeah. that. But, but still, I mean, you got to keep things in perspective. But yeah, like you said, I mean, for the area, I yep. mean, and and just going in this game, I mean, um, like you said, probably not too many people outside this huddle yep. um, uh, thought that this game was going to be as close as yeah. it was. We knew that we knew it was we knew that we had a chance to beat that team. I mean, and we you listen, they earned it. I'll never sit here and say, oh, we yeah. you know threw away a game or nothing like that. But you know, we made some errors. We shot ourselves in the foot, um, and they're they're that's a tough team to beat when you do those types of things. I mean, coaches say it all the time, and you know, we could have you know we and I and I, I'm not gonna let all the players take the blame either. I mean, us coaches, I mean, we shot ourselves in the foot too. There's times where we probably should have called something or did something here or there and uh you know it's a team effort it's a, it's a family so yeah and, and unfortunately you know i know a lot of these good boys uh that really did a great job for you will be gone but um yep. that's part of uh, high school football and uh just kind of get ready for next year right and yeah uh, well i mean we got some <laughs> promising kids i mean uh, uh you know if you think about it i mean there's some guys out there Corey wise nathan orndoff uh well have three returning stars on the offensive line some big boys um you know, so I think we could still be competitive. I mean, there's, there's no. I'm not going in the next season thinking we're, you yeah, know, yeah, we're yeah. starting over, or nothing <laughs> like that. I, I, I know we're going to be a pretty good football team. So, um, you know, we just got, you know, the, the kids now kind of know how bad this hurts, you know, and and what the margin for error is, and it's, you know, these guys have kind of won before just on talent, and it's, you know, um, if you're going to try to compete for these uh, type of games, you're, you got to, it's a year-round commitment, and it's going to be fun because. You know, I'll get a chance to be in the off season with the guys and have a true off season with yeah. them and stuff. And it'll be a young team next year, but I, you know, I, I expect to compete. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much, Coach. Yep. Uh, congratulations on a great season. Hey, thank you very much.